For a guy on the go like me, audiobooks are the thing. So the, today, the recommendation for audiobook of the week. Well, not really, since this is the first one. But I want to recommend Dungeon Crawler Carl from Soundbooth Studio. Not just an audiobook, but a whole experience. At least that's what they claim. So, get the gist of this. Dude's just chilling out, having a cigarette, cracks the window. Girlfriend pretty much went to the Bahamas without him. Probably fucked her old ex-boyfriend. So, he just breaks up like the chat he is and planning to get the hell out or throw her out. But something unexpected happens. The cat, the prize cat, jumps out the window and he chases after her in his boxers and a leather jacket. No shoes, some crappy Crocs left by the girlfriend. And he's out the door in the freezing cold in Seattle. So he's out there coaxing down the cat from the tree that is stuck at. Soon some old lady screams at him, and before you know it, her head goes flat. Achievement! Insurgent. You left an explosive device along a well-traveled path, and it detonated and killed an intended target. It really was cool. Too bad you didn't get to see it because you're a trap-leaving bitch! Hey, I said, waving the fat hand. If any of Jaggy's family or friends are watching this, you can go fuck yourselves. Here, I said handing off a missile launcher to a funeral bell guard. The creature smelled like dirt. Donut had named him Dr. L for some inexplicable reason. She'd gone through and named the officers and sergeants and would have spent the next hour naming all of them if I hadn't intervened. So we get into Dungeon Crawler Carl's stupid name, I must say, but it's got some game. So not quite an isekai, but it's got some vibes. Dude is cold, homo's frostbite, so he goes down the stairs with the freaking cat. Gets pulled into some elaborate game by some fish-like crap. So, go along, you got the D&D thing going on, and soon enough, he comes to a trap. Goblin Dozer comes after his ass, and soon he runs away, and that's a wrap. No, he survives, and jumps into the door so he gets some training and the cat becomes extremely annoying sort of like the hitchhiker in the galaxy to the premise strange aliens come along and just put a lot of humans in this death battle game not quite sure how to go on without spoiling too much but for a guy like me audiobooks are a must I could run, go to the gym, do some chores around the house. And if you're tired of the media out there, it's definitely a must. You got this badass dude dressed like a fool. And suddenly the cat has a voice too. She bitches him out because somehow she's powered up. Some scary stuff until they start leveling up. So they play the game for a bit, go along with the flow, come across this old lady with cockroaches coming out of her hole. Did I forget to mention there's an AI too? Somehow it suddenly gets a fetish for Carl too. Foots ain't my thing and neither is it the man's, but the AI seems to love Carl's foot just going slam. Now I know this might not be your thing, but I don't want to spoil all the surprise. Let me just let you know in book four, Critical Drinker arrives. Got a bit part, other characters too. It's amazing how far and what they do. Got the absurdist comedy with strong characters too. It's only the crazy absurd story that might lose you. Solid characters, even if some annoy. At one point, there's even the head of a sex dog trying to kill you. It's got heart, it's got soul. The, probably the only thing it's lacking is a brain. It might be weird as hell, but it sure beats a lot of shit out there. God damn it, Donut is Carl's catchphrase. Gotta go on shows <laughs> in between death raids. The whole thing is rather hard to describe without spoiling the surprise. Now there's goblins and bugs, 
Tantrat, fuck Tantrat. Orcs, too, even have a ball of swine trying to fucking crush you. Carl tries to make his way to the stairs every couple days when the floor collapses. Not quite sure <laughs> if the man will last. His sanity's going. <laughs> this is just not acceptable, Carl. I like my butterfly charm. It makes it so fairies like me, and it is pretty. It's part of my fit. I don't want to take it off. I don't see why I can't just wear two charms at the same time. Stupid Angel the Cocker Spaniel had like four or five tags. Fuck me. Stupid Angel the Cocker Spaniel had like four or five tags on her collar. She jingled like a bunch of rusty cowbells being dumped down the stairs wherever she walked. This cat's a bitch. But if you can stand her, she can be amusing. Show Cat Diva posed to Carl's working man vibe. There's a compliment of characters. There's even danger and an old man peeing in the halls that almost killed a whole retirement home. You got PVE and a little bit of PVP. And it has a crazy cast of characters that have grown on me. Now, Dungeon Crawler Carl might not be the audiobook for you, but it's better than most of the Hugo Awarded ones. That crap confuses the hell out of me. I'll take some slappy fun. Wish I could share more um, crappy graphics that I found online are all I can provide. Let's see what I can do with the visuals this time. Trying something new and seeing if it works. Trying to be positive about the crappy shit that's out there. Now, ain't right-wing propaganda, but it's got a little bit of woke. Runs in the middle of the path where the common people work. It's got twists and turns and an identity of its own. And Sound Booth's theater gives it a sound of its own. So if you got an audible, give it a try. So much crap out there. I, I wanted to give some suggestion back. No, not many people are going to look at this. But trend hopping this is only good for so far. Uh, try new things. Experimenting is what I strive for. If I sound stupid, I don't really fucking care. Because at the end of the day, I've done my best. On our dungeon prom, I said, Mongo, gonna be on the best talk show, and then we'll brawl on our dungeon prom.